Hello fellow aviators and welcome back to the channel to discuss all things aviation and JLTV here welcoming you back. Yes, spring has sprung and we are recording this in very good weather unlike the winter cold that was dealing with us for the past few months. Um, today we're discussing the cost of getting your instructor rating, at least your grade 3 instructor rating in the South African context. So you've secured your commercial pilot license and you're thinking What's the next move? The one thing you could do is to get your instructor rating. Why, you ask, should I get an instructor rating? Well, for, for, for starters, the skill you will get instructing, teaching student pilots how to fly, well, it, it goes into your CV, it goes into your logbook, it, it goes into you know your entire profile because you not only have you mastered the skill of flying, you can also impart that information or that skill to others who are in the process of being trained to become pilots basically it's also another way to 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 raise your hours to add hours the necessary hours of the industry looking for to recruit a pilot um so some call it you know flying for free but most importantly instruction will help you polish your skill it will help you you know stay on, on top of your game and be a more professional and safe pilot Obviously, now that you're armed with your commercial pilot license, you can now write the necessary exams at the CAA exams for instruction. That is exams towards your instructor rating. And then if you pass them and you begin the training towards becoming a grade 3 instructor at the ATO of your choice. The first batch of hours that will be required are 20 hours of instruction from a grade 2 instructor. The second batch of hours are 20 um, hours of instruction or briefings to a grade 3, so correction, to a grade 2 instructor. Now, those 20 hours would be charged at, three hours, depending on which ATO you're using, roughly 300 rands per hour. Now, for each of those 20 hours of uh, briefings, you we are looking at, uh, because they're charged at 300 per hour, we're looking at um, roughly 6,000 6, per set. You will also need to do another 20 hours of briefings to a student under the supervision of a grade 2 instructor. In other words, you are briefing a student pilot and the grade 3 instructor is observing, supervising that particular briefing. Because remember, you are still training towards becoming an instructor yourself. So those hours also um, um, will be 20 hours that will be required there. You will also do 15 hours on a channel 172 uh, on what is called instructor pitter training uh, at a rate of plus minus uh, 2,100 or so depending on which ATO you use and uh, the total of that will come to about 33,000 rands and you'll have to do five additional hours on a simulator at a rate of around 900 rands per hour so setting you back a good um, 4,500 you have done all that you've done your, your briefings you've done your flying and uh, you have prepared, you know, for, 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 for what's coming, uh, you will then be scheduled for a flight test with uh, a DFE, designated flight examiner. And that may set you back um, a good uh, 3,000 rands, depending on which ATO you use and which DFE they use. Of course, again, depending on where you are training, some spaces may actually you know, we're charging you for lending fees. You need to factor that into your budgeting as well. But in other spaces, I mean, there, there, there is no such uh, charge. You just land and take off without much hustle. Of course, there's the admin side to it. You know, after passing that test that the DFE will, will administer, you will need to obviously submit these things to the CAA. And there are some fees that are payable to the CAA as well. Um, and before your, before your license can be issued. Now, all in all, that will set you back uh, an estimated figure of plus minus 56,000 South African rands. So if you're willing to do an instructor rating after your commercial pilot license, that is the figure you should be looking at in terms of budgeting. Um, it could be slightly less or slightly more than that, depending on where you are training in South Africa and what, uh, what are the rates of that particular ATO that you are using. But you know, the, the estimate I've given you in this particular video is based on the hours that I've broken down and how they are, uh, the costing is done for those hours. So it would, you know, um, it puts you at roughly 54,000 
rent and then you become a grade three instructor and you can now join an ATO and also instruct and teach student pilots how to fly. I hope that was a helpful short video and if it was please do click the like button and don't forget to subscribe so we can bring you more content, more relevant content in this channel. Angela Dube signing out until next time. Cheers.